over here um, I'm hoping they didn't spot me the wind's really bad so I'm circling around trying to get get the wind in my favor and see see where these guys head to so it could be exciting or I may have already blown it who knows either way we're trying to get after it see you bye where I wanted to be pretty close anyway now it's just a waiting game I'll probably just kick it here in the shade until they start getting up and feeding and kind of see what they do from there this gives me enough plenty of options from here I've got the wind right so and the wind should stabilize better even um, this afternoon this evening so we're just going to chill here. We're probably 400 yards away, which is great. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy this shade for a while because it's hot all of a sudden. So, uh, part of the game.
after I'm feeding, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that they um, actually go further away from me a little bit into that taller brush and lay down. That way I feel like I can get off of this bald hill. I did manage to crawl over to one, the one bush that I have close to me, so I made that. But they should settle down here shortly and then uh, hopefully they're in a spot. I feel like I can get out, out of here and get, get closer to them than the plan is to just uh, wait until they feed out this evening and hopefully get an opportunity at him. I know he's not a huge bull, like I said, but I don't care. Plus, this is kind of fun to watch. You don't get to see this all the time, so it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. oh he's chasing. All right. saw him a little higher but uh yeah I got about out two and a half hours before dark so I'm sure they'll get up and start feeding again hopefully they're gonna come back this way we'll try and cut them off wherever they go so I don't know we'll see it's tough it's tough <laughs>
Okay, well, I was able to sneak up and get another shot in that guy and he took off running and then he stopped and he was hurt pretty bad. He, so I loaded another shell and got up. I just followed him. As you can see, it's just wide and <laughs> nothing to hide behind. So anyway, he was hurt. He'd go for a little bit and stop, go and stop, go and stop. And I was finally able to catch up to him and got to about 60 yards and he just stood there. So I took a good aim and shot and I had a misfire. Unbelievable. If I lose, he walked up over the top, I'm just letting him go. Well, I can't do anything anyway. If I lose that bull because of that, oh my gosh. I will be so disappointed. But he didn't seem like he's going to go very far. I think he's hopefully double long shot. Shot him twice. So I don't know. The second shot was fairly close. So it's a waiting game. We're going to let him sit overnight. He's clearly not going to die right away. And uh, we're going to get out of here. Come back at daylight and see if we can't find him somewhere. So hopefully we find this guy. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Okay. Well, we uh, came back in this morning. Thank you to Sage Aslett for letting us, helping us out, find this guy this morning. And he was right where I left him last night. Uh, unfortunately, I ran out of daylight. I wasn't sure how dead he was going to be. Sage let us come through his property today onto this uh, BLM land. And he was laying right where we, we shot him last night. So Awesome. Problem is, it's hotter than hell. The birds got to him a little bit. We're going to try and get him out here as soon as possible. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get this taken care of. Thank you, guys. Bye. Well, I don't get service like this very often, but on a hot day like this, I'm going to take full advantage. This is awesome. Okay, so that was awesome i can't tell you how grateful bill and i both are for not having to pack that bull out of there we were uh, fully prepared to do so but i thought you know what it's worth a worth a shot to get to get a hold of sage and, and uh, just ask and he was awesome he does just so everybody knows he's a friend of mine so he let me do this but he also does charge access fees if you get into that situation so if you're in there on that public land you better be prepared to uh, pack it out on your own so anyway super grateful for steve for helping us do that stuff and uh flying spear outfitters by the way so go check them out he's a top notch dude and i super appreciate that so thanks for watching uh what's next i think i got another hopefully i'm gonna have an elk cut next week to film again finish up that super tag hunt he's coming back for the rifle hawk hunt so we'll try and get that done and then um we're on the mule deer all right see you guys on the next episode thanks bye